Hello, everybody. Hi, how are you? I am doing well. This is Heather Alexandra for Kotaku.com, a video game website about video games. And today we are playing, whoa, Cadence of Hyrule, Crypt of the Necrodancer, featuring The Legend of Zelda. So I've been playing this for about the last day or so, because I'm going to do a full, uh, proper review. Um, and this is great. So I love Crypt of the ne Necrodancer. Um, when that came out, I think it was 2015 that came out. Um, that game blew my mind. Um, it was it was like a roguelike that I really, really liked. Um, you know, people had tried to get me into Rogue Legacy or all these other things, and it didn't really click. But then adding combat where you needed to pay attention and movement where you really needed to, to listen to the game was great. So that's what we're going to do. It's a collaboration between the folks who made Crypt of the Necrodancer, Brace Yourself Games, and Nintendo. And so we're going to start a new game. Um, uh, this is me right now. Uh, and so we'll start. I think this lets you customize like specific seeds and things like that because there is a slightly randomized element to this game. At the beginning of each game, the map of Hyrule is created. Um, Every so each time the overworld is different. And when the balance of power is inevitably lost, it's up to the courageous and the wise to restore it. But sometimes... So good. Link, no! Sometimes. There's an evil they need a wizard extra named, I think, Octavia? And then this is the Crypt of the Necrodancer girl. This is Cadence. You only play as her at the start, and then you choose between Link or Zelda, but we'll get there. So, for those of you who don't know Crypt of the Necrodancer at all, um, basically all, the big thing is you have to move to the beat. Um, this game is a little bit more forgiving in that there are a lot of screens where you don't have to move to the beat, and on each screen, if you defeat all enemies, um, you no longer have to move to the beat. You only have to do that when enemies are on screen. So I could right now, you know, move to the beat and boop, 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 right? But I don't have to. Um, instead, I can just move freely for now. They're teaching you some of these basics. A lot of the areas in the game are blocked by these little Sheikah stones. And so you activate them and then you go where you gotta go. Um, this is like a little puzzling area kind of give you a sense because this game does have dungeons um which actually have been my favorite part of the game so far so torch helps you see just kind of like encrypted the necrodancer but also lets you burn these stumps and then you get going um, there are hazards i'm playing this on the switch uh maybe on the pc too but i think it might just be a switch exclusive off the top of my head um so there are hazards like these, I can't, they bounce me back. So the very easy solution is to hop up and around them. There are other ones that confuse you, which all that does is flip your controls. Some of them increase or um, decrease the tempo. So now you can see at the bottom, um, an indicator of the rhythm, right? Boom, 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 boom. So I have to move to that pace now. Um, it affects like score multipliers and sometimes like that it will affect like items and things like that. Um, it's actually not that hard. Uh, I've found that this game doesn't go as deep, but you see I messed it up there because I'm talking. Um, this game doesn't go as deep into like the fast tempo stuff yet. But each enemy has patterns, right? So the reason why you can deal with it is because enemies have patterns. So we're just standing here and watching for a second, right? This one goes up and down. Very easy to deal with. Very easy to dodge, too. Part of what you need to do in these games is learn how the monsters move, and then you can deal with them. So like this guy, if I walk in there, 
kind of playing around, but you can see him throw up his hands. It's actually really hard to talk and play this. So I might not do too much talking this time around. <laughs> um... So you find different items and they can have different attack patterns. Broadswords hit three squares in front of you, spears can hit up to two squares in front of you. The spear ends up being really, really useful if you're not used to these sorts of games, if you haven't played a lot of Crypt of the Necrodancer, when you finally get the spear, I totally recommend using that. You see, once you defeat enemies, you can move around. Uh, but yeah, it turns out talking and listening to music and playing a game while streaming um, and checking chat uh, makes it easy for you to miss the beat. So won't chat as much. Hopefully the, the game um, <laughs> is kind of self-evident. Um, we'll get to the overworld, but right now it's going to make us choose our, our, our character. Um, each time you play, uh, like you have three save files. Um, and each time you make a save, the overworld of Hyrule is kind of randomized. And then you get to choose which character you play as. Um, on my first playthrough, I'm playing through as Link, which means I'm very tempted to play through as Zelda, but hey, which one would you want me to play as today, friends? I think playable Zelda is pretty uh, goddamn cool, but you never know. Zelda? Yeah, that's what I thought. So they've been put under like a magical spell and we got to wake them up. But here is a uh, Sheik or not Sheik. <laughs> she's, she's from the Sheikah tribe. This is Impa. Both stories are the same sort of, right? You're both going out and trying to clear four dungeons so you can go into Hyrule Castle and stop the evil wizard. Um, they start a little different. Um, they have different abilities. Link has a shield. Um, that you have to kind of aim to deflect things with. And then I believe Zelda has Nehru's Love, which is a like a magical spell. Are the dungeons different or the same? So I have to imagine that they're partially randomized each time you play a new game. Um, I've only been playing through on my one save file as Link so far. So we're going to find out if things are very, very different. Um, and then my hope is, you know, sometime tomorrow to... Um, to have a f more full review for you. I've been playing this for about a day now, um, right? But you don't start inside the castle um, as Link. In Link, you start as in uh, Link's house. See how that was using up magic though, so I'm messing around with those. Um, so I guess that allows me to uh, kind of block as long as I have magic. So let's not die in the. <laughs> well, I'm, also, I'm not used to this magic spell at all. I could use a bomb on them. I didn't even need to. So I haven't messed around with Zelda at all, so I'm really sloppy there. Um, but now we're in the overworld, um, which they're going to be like, hey, here's your inventory, tons of items, and then the overworld. Uh, the overworld is randomized every time you you start, kind of like I've been saying. Um, so right now I don't get to see a lot of it. In general, you know, the regions will be kind of similar. Like, hey, the castle's in the center and Death Mountain is up to the right and Lake Hylia is probably to the south. But who knows? Who knows? It could be entirely different. And if a screen has enemies, you have to fight to the beat. be doing as much talking though. <laughs> There's lava. Uh, 
I'm curious then. I don't really have items to cross the lava yet, right? Unless, like, no way. I can't can't use Nero's love for that. So we'll come back to this. I'm still not used to using Nehru's love at all. So I'm just gonna actually let them hit me. Not all screens have beads. Uh, so I'll just go back in. So when you die, you get to choose where you respawn in the, in the game world. I almost like Link's shield more than Nehru's love. So this can make overworld travel feel maybe a little tedious, um, you know, having to clear a screen to have freer movement. Yeah, I don't fully understand Nehru's love, love yet. Uh, these chests, you just have to defeat all the enemies. So I'm doing really bad right now. Um, when you clear screens, you, uh, you get, uh, diamonds, which you can then spend on um, items to help you at the start of your run, or sometimes permanent upgrades. So let me just focus. It's hard to talk and partially learn like a new character. And... Zelda's much tougher right now? I'm sorry, friends. Let's go down. Avoid the desert until I can learn her character. Um, basically, you don't want to drop a beat so you can have better loot when you defeat monsters and stuff. Just focus. <laughs> See, if I have a shovel, I can probably get around that, but I need to get a shovel first, which means. There we go. Thank you, video game, for giving me exactly the thing I need. We can go this other way. Really? <laughs> why is why is Link's start so much easier than Zelda's? Is it just because of the seed I got? <laughs> That's possible. Because I can definitely let's see once you clear a screen you get diamonds which are very very good I wanted to get to a dungeon so these little bacoblin fellas just kind of chase you These fat moblins throw spears that you need to dodge, and then they just kind of act like the little bacoblins. Uh, the little tektites, those are pea hats, they just chase you. The tektites can move diagonal, which is kind of a pain in the ass.
this is useful because uh, that torch will show me where um, hidden items are. So you can see that chest down there, I can already tell that it has a... Uh... Has a key. Me knocking that, uh... That lizard dude into the other thing was completely unintentional, but I'm gonna pretend that it was. Yeah, I, I can't figure out Nehru's love yet, and I don't know why, because that shouldn't be that difficult of a thing. The shield for Link is so much easier to use. seen this before. This game owns though. So I cleared I cleared a couple dungeons on my link save file. And the dungeons are fucking fabulous. My big thing right now is I want to, or I'm going to try and start to, um, I want a spear. The sooner that they give me a spear, the happier I'll be. Um, or I guess I could take a broadsword, but we'll see. I feel like Nehru's love should be easier to use. But you notice that the layouts of the uh, screens don't particularly change. Uh, Moblins, when they throw their spears, by the way, um, they go to pick up their spears. Like, so this guy's gonna throw his spear. Zelda is hard mode, someone says? It feels harder. But... I'm also a dummy. This is definitely a game where I was like, I felt super confident and now I'm starting to stream it <laughs> and I feel super self-conscious. <clears throat> that spear. Gotta be kidding me, dude. doesn't deflect, though. Or it didn't there. Let's not stand there. I get ten times easier once I get a spear. Yeah, so the layouts are relatively the same in the sense that, like, <clears throat> down is where water is, and one area is where kind of the desert is, and things like that. There is a crystal, like, sword here. Well, it's glass. Glass breaks in one hit. If, well actually if... So rapiers are a very specific thing in Crypt of the Necrodancer, and it, the thing is, and I don't know if it's the case here, yeah, they advance you one square when you attack. Um, spears make you stay in place. So after you defeat an enemy with a rapier, you, you're always gonna move forward one square. Is there a world map? There is, um, but I have to uncover it, you know. 
But now, so the nice thing about a rapier though, until I get hit by an enemy and this breaks, is uh, I can attack from an extra square away, which means, um, quite frankly, that I can do a lot of good shit. There we go. I want that diamond. Um, being able to attack from multiple squares away is just like really nice. Because that way the um, the lizards, so much easier to deal with because you can just stop their charges and everything. So now we're getting somewhere. The minute that I can have like a permanent rapier or something is the moment that this playthrough is going to get uh, significantly easier. Well, I just broke mine. Because having a dagger right now just isn't cutting it. What is this ring? Safe instant bombs. What are the consequences of missing a beat? So the more you maintain a beat, the higher your multiplier goes and the more likely you're going to get good item drops predominantly. These guys attack you from behind, so you just move a square and then attack them when they uh, become tangible. I swear to god, I'm much better at rhythm games when I'm not trying to narrate them to a crowd. I promise. I feel like, I don't know. Uh, this will be a fairy. These are nice. Um, so this would do poison damage, so I would hit somebody and they would take more damage after. Multiply your base damage. The more, the more steps I've not missed, the higher my damage will be. I'm not taking those yet because there's a possibility that when I die, um, I will want to spend um, my diamonds on a weapon. Uh, the wolves are a little bit like the tectites in that they can move um, diagonally. This thing... Uh, attacks after you attack it. The real thing that people don't tell you is that Crypt of the Necrodancer is basically just, like, chess. Get up there. Great, I have a di I got a diamond, but it doesn't matter. You can trick that guy into attacking other dudes, which is fun. This guy wants to sell you. Uh, bomb cones, which I think is adorable. Um, <laughs> I I could get the Gore unlock it. This will make me immune to damage from lava and hot coals, which means that that area that we were at before, we can go back to if we wanted to, which is like one of these caves, right? It was like this screen. Um, but I actually don't have the ability to warp yet. I don't know what I was taking damage from there. So you see how he's like kind of acting weird because he wants to pathfind to his uh, spear. I messed that up. Uh, 
Oh yeah, eventually your weapon, your like items break. Like so, you can't always have the best bracelet ever or the best boots. But it's only on damage, right? So if you're not taking a lot of damage. then you're mostly okay. Are they gonna jump diagonal? Yeah, now I'm getting more comfortable talking and streaming even though it's a little... Now I'm starting to understand Nehru's love. So you need to, in, in order for it to reflect, you need to do it absolutely on the beat. Um, which isn't too bad. This is a little aimless. Oh, this is one of the screens that we were at before. So actually... Gives me a hundred rupees. A hundred. Running into that wall specifically so I could time the neighbor's love, which is weird, but... I just gotta get that guy and I can have another diamond and then I can have the... Uh... Um, oh, I accidentally ran into that. What if I died? That would have sucked. Um, yeah, I like the Ger Gerudo Desert <laughs> uh, mix quite a bit. This might be the place with the, uh... The lava from before? It is. We can just grab this shit. What?! My boots lied to me! Oh, there's a bunch of diamonds and like a, some sort of flail. I want it. I'm gonna try something here. I'm actually gonna let myself die. <laughs> Maybe I did have to equip the locket. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm gonna grab this broadsword and this heart container. And now we're back off. So the broadsword will be useful. Maybe I did. Maybe there are people at uh, home or on YouTube right now yelling at me. Um, which would be kind of mean, but... You know. Making mistakes. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out in a second. I thought it said you don't have to equip them. Maybe because it was deep and I still need to get the flippers. Right? But I don't have to equip items like that, I don't believe, so. Yeah. So I'm very curious about what happened there. Let's determine where we want to go. I want to go down and then to my left, because I think... Yeah, having the broadsword already is just, like, so much nicer. It'll be nice when I get a spear or, like, a permanent rapier. Um, because I think one thing that will happen is, if it's like Link's story, there's, like, this, like, windmill kind of Song of Stormzy, Kakariko-type place where I can get an item that will kind of set me on my progression path. Alternatively, uh, at least in Link's version, there's like 
fortune tellers that you can um, spend like a handful of rupees on and they'll actually tell you where you need to go. And because we're streaming, let's not... I don't want to fuck about it too much. I'd rather just go to certain places. Well, it's going to take me... Let's go down. Okay, so we're like Lake Hylia, yeah. Can't get up there yet. because it was so much easier to find my path on Link's playthrough. So, as I understand it, friends, each time you create a new save file, there's um, a new overworld. In fact, what I might do is, like, so let's save and quit this version that we're playing right now, and let's go to my save files link. And you'll be able to see, uh, very briefly, that, like, the layout is kind of similar, right? As in, like, oh, there's the you know, Hyrule Castle in the center, and Lake Hylia kind of down here. Um, and, you know, swamps and then mountains up here. But I think the individual screens themselves are a little randomized. The over like, it's it's kind of semi-random, right? Uh, also, this was my not-so-secret way of me switching to my character who has stuff. Because uh, I also, I think we can show off a dungeon. Um, because I... Got the Zora flippers, which means that we can go into um, into the next dungeon. How does dying in this game work? Uh, so we've shown it off a couple times because I was really clumsy earlier. Uh, when you die, oh wow, can I not go underneath the bridge? When you die, you go to a place where you can spend the diamonds that you found on stuff, either for your next run or other stuff. And then uh, the, everything resets in the, in the open world. So what's the deal here? Frozen Grotto. Is this where I talked to... Nope, this is our dungeon. Perfect. So now you get to see a dungeon. Ice is weird because you slide on it uh, until you stop. Yeah, so I helped save a, a Zora Prince and he had a surfboard and I love him. So I figured I would show a little bit of the overworld, I would show some Zelda, and then I was like, well, I know I have a dungeon. You're gonna see why I like the spear is because Oh no. It's because I'm very much uh, able to follow up and attack, and I'm also able to attack from uh, multiple squares away. It's like the rapier, except it doesn't make you move when you use it. Oh. Okay, so what I'm messing up with those um, keys is that you can hit them when, they, like, so see how that uh, jellyfish was electrified? If I attack it when it's electrified, see, I get stunned. So the thing I want to do is maybe not do that, even though I just did it twice. So now we have a dungeon map. Here's a merchant who I'm going to buy this piece of heart from. It's the singing shopkeeper from Crypto the Necrodancer. Yes. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't see the Beemos. Shit. You can see why I like the spear and why I've enjoyed playing as Link. Zelda was cool, but right now, let's show dungeon. I have to fight enemies in this room. If they're marked with that little mark, it means uh, fight, fight enemies. Anything over here? No, doesn't seem like it. So it'll be nice once we have a compass and some other things too, but now we're starting to get that Zelda dungeon experience. And I like dungeons in this game uh, a lot, truth be told. I might be able to dig here, yeah. Jesus. Taking much more damage here than I'd like. Is this the ice rod I have? So a bunch of bunch of different uh, items that you can use. Oh no, this is the one that makes blocks. I should equip useful shit for now. Like uh, the hook shot. If I need it. there. There we go. I'm just hopping to the B even though I don't need to. Those are hover boots. See? So good. I lost my torch. I was like, where'd the whiz rope go? Link's shield you can just keep held up, by the way, is why it's slightly easier than Nehru's love. Because you can do that. When you die, what level of progress is undone? You mostly lose items, um, but like temporary items like torches and uh, sometimes certain weapons. But like, so I have a spear right now. I have spear, broadsword. Um, and so I had, I gave it some upgrades. I'm, a, I'm It's a little... Those upgrades persist, so like, hey, I've made my short sword poison. I've done XYZ thing. It's a great shovel. That wolf went into a... Uh... A portal? Which is kind of funny. He zoned out and let that guy hit me. Compass, thank the Lord. fun because you have to uh, hit, uh, shoot it on the beat, so it's like, see, like that. 
which I thought I think is really neat. Yeah, it doesn't rese reset your whole game, but I, I also like. I don't know if people would want to play like a full Zelda rogue like or rogue light, right? Um, it sounds great on paper, but then the idea of like, oh, I had all these keys and I lost everything is kind of bullshit. Uh, the idea though that you can move through a dungeon in an interesting space and have to fight enemies in an interesting way, like I think, yeah, that's totally fine. Does. Enemies! Do I want those boots? No, I want the hover boots. Oh, the switch froze the water. It's kind of hard to tell. I thought that wolf was gonna hit me. Oh boy. There's a lot of ice. Sorry, somebody sent me a message. And sometimes, because of the work we do, I have to be like, oh, what's that message? I thought I could deflect that. Maybe I can with perfect timing. <laughs> now I'm getting distracted. So I found a boss key, but I... Oh, the boss door is literally right there. I'm gonna take this bow. It's an even better bow than before. So, quick dungeon. Sorry I got distracted. Again, I feel like I've been apologizing a lot for gameplay when I've been streaming lately, but I do want to give you guys the best possible thing. Let's see what this boss is like. <laughs> the one in the first dungeon, I really, really like. Oh no! It's the evil wizard Octavio. And his magical enchanted oboe, uh, buddy. I love them. Wiz Robo. <laughs> God dang. All right, here we go. Let's focus. Damn it, those make ice. gotta get to them is the problem but it's so hard for me to tell where they're gonna teleport to oh, so fucking good the boss fights in this game are so good like i can't I'm just sneaking in hits where I can. Oh, 
you see the spear is super useful here for me to just getting to them. <laughs> you should have seen the first boss. There's this multi-headed dragon and it would shoot fireballs that you would have to dodge and then it would charge up these big lightning attacks too. It was so good. Um, so in theory, everybody's... I feel like everybody's knocking me for going off the rhythm now. Um, the bonuses for getting... For staying in, in the rhythm are a couple things. Uh, for general enemies, it increases the probability of like good item drops and also just item drops in general. For certain weapons, if you imbue them with the right upgrades, they will actually do more damage uh, based upon your uh, multiplier and a couple other things. Um, so one thing I want to figure out is I'm just gonna go down here and I think there's a... Wait, where is the house with the fortune tellers? Shit. What do they look like? Toggle map icons. I would love a little glossary that tells me where what things are. Again, I totally forget. That's Link's house. Try to get up there. Yeah, so I only have a handful of areas that I need to look for, but I can see where the dungeons are. Um, or I should be able to. Uh, like, I think that's one. Uh, and then this is one. And then this will be the entrance to the Hyrule Castle dungeon, I believe. Might be wrong. Uh, one thing we can do is go over here and start peeking off to that side of the map that I've not looked at, which is great. Yeah, play Link first, I guess, is my... ...advice, and use the spear. <laughs> want to keep uh, keep going west. Yeah. So after you choose Link or Zelda, you don't play as Cadence any longer in the main mode, as far as I'm aware. Either choose Link or Zelda. You choose a character per save file, as far as I can tell. I dropped a beat because I was a. Uh... A chat. Yeah, Link's shield you can just hold up for reflex. this chest. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that. Now all the enemies are back, though. There are a couple of hidden areas in the overworld that I've found. Oh, I guess my ring was made of glass. Didn't realize. How am I even reading chat while playing? Uh, very quickly. Uh, one nice thing is that I'm a speed reader in real life. Which means that I, um, 
it's so hard to explain. So when I look at, this is gonna sound pretentious and I don't mean it to you. Uh, when I look at like, like pages of books, I kind of see like a complete picture. It's very hard to explain. I don't want the broadsword. I just want my spear. So I can look at, I can turn and look at chat really quick. Uh, doesn't work out completely well for this game because I really need to pay attention in this game. And even if I wasn't looking at chat, I would still mess up the beat every now and then. Uh, have I found any bottles? Some, I think somebody was asking though. Uh, I've not. I haven't found bottles yet. But I have noticed right here on this screen, for instance, this. Which is, an, I guess, an, oh, just another fairy fountain. <laughs> yeah, see the spear? Can you, you basically stun lock those guys once you hit them. Which is super fantastic. Where's the last enemy? Are they trapped underneath? Can't really tell. Um, oh, diving. Oh, look at this fellow. Speaking of bottles. And I have more than enough rupees for everything. Um, if you have them, uh, do, are these things I have to equip or are they automatic? Oh, they're just automatic. So actually, what I really think is happening is that there's an enemy underneath this dock. I need to hit because the chest itself isn't an enemy the chest is just i have to defeat all enemies to undo it so yeah see i have no way of actually attacking them that's a that's a little bit of an error of um the procedural generation i actually just for the moment, you don't appear to have any way to uh, actually uh, hit them. Whoa, he knocked me back. Son of a bitch. Oh, that frazzled me. Why is there diggable space here? Ooh, look at that big fella. Before I looked away, somebody was saying that well, I think watching me play was giving you anxiety? Uh, it's not bad. Oh, he dropped the fire rod. That's nice. So I have an ice rod and a fire rod. Will I do the two-player mode later? I am in Brooklyn uh, by myself because I've been playing this game most of the last day and a half because I'm going to write a review for it uh, on the site uh, tomorrow. So uh, not a particular way to play the co-op right now unless I bug my roommate who I don't know if he's even here. Um, entirely possible that he's not. Let's see where we're going. So there is a dungeon up there by the looks of it. So let's just start moving towards that dungeon and see if there's a thing. Uh, Like if there's if I can just head into it because I have everything I need, that'd be great. That's not been the case. To get to one dungeon, I needed the ability to uh, like jump strike off of enemies' heads to cross a river, and then the other was I needed the Zora flippers so that I could um, I 
needed the Zora Flippers so that I could uh, go through the water without drowning to reach it. <laughs> Reflex projectiles, what does this one say? Multiplier based vision. Oh, so the, I guess, so that's another item. So the more uh, that I have, that I'm more that I'm on the rhythm, the wider vision I'll actually see of the space. more enemies. You see they have their weak points on the back. Can I get this guy to jump inside the poison? Will that poison him? Well, he did. I don't think it poisoned him. I didn't see them. Shit. I have like 40 something diamonds though. <laughs> oh, hi, buddy. I got a little too eager to hit him. So I have, I, I have, um, I got a thing that said item piercing, which means that right now, because he was holding up his shield, I could still attack him, which is like perfect. Deku Leaf! Uh, using this will launch a gust uh, to knock back enemies and things. That's good. Does this have a demo? I don't know if it does. Uh, not off the top of my head. Um, yeah, so this has actually been a really refreshing game. Uh, I think. It's, it's kind of does exactly what it says on the T, but it does it really well. Having the semi-static overworld is really nice. And like you guys and gals and non-binary pals saw with uh, dungeons. Dungeons are freaking dope, so. So that mostly feels good. Yeah, you could always check out Crypt of the Necrodancer if you were a little unsure about things. So actually, you have to head this way to find the dungeon. So it's not here, but it's one below. It might not be a dungeon, it might just be a house. Well, hold on then. Where on, dun where on maps are dungeons? Weird. Yeah, I can't go down, so let's go around. No, we always have a home team that's not... Uh, so not everybody is at uh, E3. My last E3 I went to was 2017 as a matter of fact. And I've been supporting the home team since then. Wow, a whole village. Um, uh, but I got to travel recently um, anyway, because I went to San Francisco to go to the Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers media tour. Played all that, had a great time, talked to Yoshida-san, all that stuff. Would have been really nice to have... Uh, <laughs> I mean, Jason probably would have been always the person who... Oh my gosh, is that Zelda? Amazing. Jason probably would have been always the person who did the interview, but I would have loved to have uh, maybe had a chance to ask Yoshinori Kitase a question. Uh, that'd be very good. Um, what if I wake you up with a bomb? Nope, but she made a noise. I'm sorry, I did not mean to scare her. Is this like their Danpei? If only we had a hibiscus potion, we might be able to wake them up. All right, so that gives me a little bit of direction on what to do. <laughs> um, what I haven't tried is this. Ah! <laughs> oh shit! Ah! Oh, this is when the Switch's shitty D-pad is a problem. 20 rupees. Try to hit as many targets as you can. Oh, interesting. What I want to do is... Hmm. 
Hmm. I kind of messed that up a little bit. Uh, can I just... Try again? Or I got the heart piece anyway? <laughs> Any word of a soundtrack release? No! That'd be really great, huh? Uh, these are really good remixes. Um, I think some are maybe a little better than others. That chicken needs to get out of my way so I can open the fucking door. Oh my god, chicken, no! Oh no. What a weird situation to have to mess up uh, going in here because I don't have the chicken. Heals from kills, damage at low HP. I'll take heals from kills because I have like the most amount of um, rupees in the world right now. So... Yeah, wow, so I didn't know that, that was Kakariko. Let's check these empty spaces that I haven't gone to yet. There's got to be a dungeon in the swamps that I've not found. Um, I'll I mean, honestly, right now... Um, yeah, so Zelda... I think Zelda has a rough start, from what I can tell. I had a much easier time starting with Link, partially because you can just hold down the shield for reflecting. And also because... She, the first weapon that you could get for her was a broadsword. And I think the first one for Link is the spear, which is just a really useful item in general for this game. I think Zelda will be like a much more fun playthrough, kind of like I said before, once I play that a bit and I get to use the rapier with her and just have the ability to you know, attack from a couple more um, spaces. I'm gonna stream a little while longer because honestly, you know what I'm doing today? I'm playing this game so that I can write about it for you guys tomorrow for review. Um, Usually we don't do turnarounds that quick on reviews. I like to let them marinate, right? Um, there have been exceptions to that. The biggest exception to that was Cuphead, which when I reviewed Cuphead, for whatever reason, and this is not like, this is not me complaining, Lord forbid, right? Um, right? But I think uh, Microsoft gave us the code for that like a day and a half in advance of the embargo which was, that was intense. I remember playing Cuphead in about a day, uh, just nonstop. And that was probably, um, you know, usually I like the, <laughs> now, I'll tell you guys a little bit of how the sausage is made. Usually I love the review process. Um, it's really interesting, you get to engage with the thing, uh, you get to focus on it. Uh, Cuphead was rough. Not because that was a hard game. I don't think that game's as hard as people say. Um, like I really don't but because of just having to rush it and being like, well, shit, there's another boss. <laughs> this game does have a lot of bosses. Oh god, I'm talking and now it told me that I suck. Fuck you. Does this have co-op play? Yes, it has uh, two-player. I got all wrapped up in my um, talking and the game was like, you're bad. I guess that's good then for people who were saying that they were kind of anxious about jumping into this game, that it has a mode that gives you leniency on the beats. Want to get up there? <laughs> Cuphead in a day was rough. And then we, I think, uh, very smartly didn't rush to meet that embargo. I worked with Steven and wrote what I think is a pretty decent review. Um, if I had to rush to Embargo, because the Embargo, that was like the, the morning of at like 1am. It would have just been uh, a lot. Most of these, um, <laughs> most of these spaces, except this one up here, we've not gone to. Ow! That son of a bitch. Oh, bomb cheese. Love them. Bomb cheese are great for bosses. Let me focus and try and get back on the beat. Let's talk about life. I think that's a merchant down below. It's 
there any more enemies? Maybe. Sounds like a merchant. Yeah. Whoa! Auto dig. Love this guy. He has really good stuff. I'll try this weird auto shovel. Oh, I can just run. I don't have any boots. Cover boots. Where does this bring me? It brings me up here. Um, hmm. What's up here? Why is there a fairy marking it? Oh, because it's probably a fairy fountain. Uh, I will increase the potency of my weapon right now. Oh, interesting thing that I just learned. That replaces whatever your last enchantment is. So I actually want this. So, waste of gems. Waste of diamonds. We want to go over here. And over here. To see where we can walk, uh, warp. Oh, this is the, uh, do -do -do, do -do -do. just chill for a second. Hell yeah. There you go. You had to do a, a music puzzle here to wake these guys up. warp around to find places. So this is the first dungeon that I went to and I loved. So I haven't been down to this screen, I guess. So we're just exploring screens that I haven't done. Off. I was wrong. Oh, that's weird. It's not even a hard to get heart piece. It's just like right out in the open. What are your first impressions, Heather? I like this. I like it a lot, but I was also a Necro Dancer fan. I don't understand that bench. Oh, this area is starting to feel like where I should be poking around, right? Like this whole swamp area to find another dungeon. Oh, was there a cracked wall? I wasn't even paying attention because I went into the map. Oh god, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, that was the one- that was because of the spear. That wasn't me failing to dodge. I thought I would move forward when I attacked. And because the spear keeps you in place, I actually didn't move when the, um, little javelin thing came down on me. Oh, 
this is that's definitely a cave that I can go in. <laughs> is it the dungeon? Looks too uh It's not like they it's not like they messed up using the Zelda license. What does that mean for more you know indie companies that want to have access to these sorts of properties? I don't know. I've never been one to want to speculate too much on Nintendo's business deci decisions because they tend to be um, ever so occasionally inscrutable. Whoa! I just realized what that was that I was fighting. It's a Linos. Whoa. That was fun. There are two companies I try not to speculate too much on. <laughs> Nintendo. Uh, and Square. For the reason that <laughs> I, every time I think I know that everything that's happening in Nintendo, I'm like, oh shit, there's another thing, and uh, and I'm like, I don't know what that thing is, but I know there's another thing, and then with Square, Square is just like bonkers. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> so I love Final Fantasy. I love Square games. I stand sleeping dogs until I fucking die. Um, but one thing I'll tell you is, uh, boy gosh, uh, I, you know, I would not be surprised if somebody told me that, like, there's been a fire in, like, the Square corporate headquarters building for, like, an hour. Oh, not an hour. <laughs> um, let's say a year or even more. Uh, and nobody just was doing anything about it. Not because they make bad games, but because, like... Other things go wrong for Square. <laughs> Square's like, we're gonna put on these live streams and like, they're just like, those fall apart. Or they're like, we're gonna announce tons of DLC and not have a particular plan if, like if our director leaves or whatever. Um, right? It's just like, woo. There's always something going on with uh, Square Enix. Like the Quiet Man? Yeah. That game is amazing. And it's on my tingle. Oh shit. Um. Keep your eyes on these beat bars at the bottom of the screen. If you move whenever a bar reaches the middle, you'll match the rhythm correctly. I don't... That wasn't a really good explanation, and then I moved and I failed the puzzle. So, let's try a couple times. Oh, oh, I think I understand it. It really is just keeping to the beat. But for some reason, I thought, like, if I ran into the walls, like, that could do it. So I just have to just be careful. So now I just have to move to the beat. I understand. Oh, really? I was early. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Da, 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 da. Da. What? No. 
Why am I bad? Why am I bad all of a sudden? Wake up, Tingle! I'm 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 so early on the end there. I need to wait like one more beat. For some reason I'm messing it up. I know exactly what I'm doing wrong. What? No! Why am I bad? I'm so bad at life. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why am I bad? I can't believe this. I'm, I can't do this. I'm so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why that was so bad before. Tingle! Oh my god, what'd I get? The Tingle Dowser! Using this in the Lost Woods will help you find your way through. Using it elsewhere may lead to finding treasures. Why was I- why did I struggle so much with that? You ever just try and do a thing in a game? And you're like, yeah, I 100% understand this concept now. And then you just suck. That was me. So I assume that this is going to be the Lost Woods, right? I go further up. Yeah. So now I'm in the Lost Woods. And I have to go to... So the way this Tingle Dowser is working then is... I don't even care about the beat right now, because what I'm doing is I'm going to... each of these entrances, and when I press um, the Tingle Dowser, my controller vibrates. This is the one I need to go to. Oh, there's just more and more bad enemies coming. My solution is elegant. solution was not as elegant as I thought. No. Yes. Hey, there we go. Uh, we should... Be our next dungeon, presumably. Hey, made it through the Lost Woods. The Lost Swamp. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like it. How very Bastion. Kid walks into the dungeon. Just goes ham on the bushes for a little while. Tells me that his name is. Hey! 
Oh, fucking listen to this. a compass that's pointing me towards the boss key. Oh no, I lost my beat. <laughs> I was doing good. Shit! You can see dropping that beat made, uh, made my um, my torch go out. Because it was multiplier based. my favorite one. Uh, arrangement of the entire game so far? This and uh, Naruto Desert, because they just kind of go for it, and that's awesome. Watching? I think so. I can't tell how many people have been watching, if any. Shadow Link! Oh, damn! Oh, my lantern was glass? God damn it. Whew. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be like a huge amount of people, but you know. Oh no, poison! I need to go get my other torch. I'm trying to move a little. If I died now on this file, would I pull out my hair? <laughs> no, because I, I would still have my spear. I would still have all of these items. I would lose a lot of like my gear that I have currently equipped. Oh, the wardroom probably lets me stand. It's kind of like, um, in Necrodancer, there was an item that you could stand in place without missing a beat. Watch. I bet you that's what it is. Use this to skip a beat and power up your attacks on the following beat. Oh, interesting. It's a little different. Um, in Necrodancer, there are certain boots that allowed you to not lose, um, like, your beat by, like, playing them in place, right? It's not quite that. Uh, heart heart upgrades are, are permanent, yes.
So, do I keep the rape here? No. Ow. Let's grab that. Be recording this on like separate stuff, but I do have the really the real ability to stream and do that, so. Oh no. Um... Poison! No! Oh no, look at the tiny redeads. Key. So dungeons are pretty quick in this game, which is pretty good. I'm not entirely sure how to get that heart piece. Oh, that could be one way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tinkle, tuner, no. So let's fight this boss and have this be the end of our stream. Uh, this is great. Making good progress. Uh, looks like they're a Maraca themed boss. Oh, we're gonna have to fight Ganon. Spoilers, I guess. Uh, what do we got? Go Maraca instead of Goma. No, those turn into little... Those days turn into little Goma babies! I was not prepared! Is perfect for those actually. Oh, my babies! Oh uh, no, I'm done. They got me. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Uh, what can we do here? Bombs, certainly. 
No! That caught me off guard. I wasn't quite sure uh, what to expect. Normal bombs. Some arrows and stuff, yeah. That's fine. We'll be okay. Uh, clip all of this for later use, guys. getting rid of some of this. Get back here. If we work fast here, though, we can. Like, they do a lot of damage, but I had enough hearts, so... A little bit of a cheap solution to that, but might as well. <laughs> so I have, like, one more dungeon, and then I go into the end game of this, so I'll have everything wrapped up by tomorrow. And I'll write a nice review for you all. Uh, this game owns. It's really good. You know, I get the sense it's kind of short, but you can replay and do your little... Um, whatever. Have a good time with it. I'm missing beats because I keep on trying to talk, but... It is what it is. And then, so... So the last dungeon has to be up here, Death mountain E area. And I think what the deal is here is these giant rocks, I need the Goron bracelet to lift. Which means I gotta find a Goron somewhere in the world um, to do stuff. Do all the bosses have like a last breath, second blow mechanic? Sort of. Uh, so the first boss, for instance, was like a dragon with multiple heads and I had to destroy the heads. And then after the heads were destroyed, the body was still there. So I had to destroy the body. Um, I'm already forgetting. We had the oboe guy in the... Um, in the water dungeon. They had some sort of thing where they got faster tempo. I don't remember them if they had like a second life mechanic. I'm already blanking out because the stream is a bit of a blur. Um, yeah, so I need to head up here. I know exactly what I need to do to get up here. I just don't know where to find the person to help me. So I need Goron bracelets. So empty spaces. Otherwise, I just explore until I find it old school Zelda style. Um, but I think that's it for me right now. Uh, really fun game. I, I, I have had such a gosh darn, um, 
a gosh darn fun time with it in the last like 24 hours so i hope you all enjoyed it i am going to go i hope the sound mix was good seems everything was okay and uh i will see you all around enjoy the rest of e3 a lot of more news coming on kotaku.com and other websites too um cool youtubers and streamers probably have stuff out there too check it all out just soak it all in it's a fun week for video games and then i'll have a big write-up tomorrow is the plan so uh bye